hey welcome back guys okay so our group isn't doing so well so far because we can't even uh, put a cover image there what's actually happening now is if I click on my profile here you will see that all the images that I've been trying to upload are actually ending up here on my actual profile so let's uh, do a few things to remedy that so I will click click on groups and click on my first group and we are back here okay so we want to change the cover image easy peasy so let's open our text editor and let's find group.php and see what exactly is the matter so the first thing we notice is that uh, change profile image area is still here right but we're not going to be changing a profile image anytime soon on the groups so we will select everything here and just uh, remove it just uh, to make things a little bit cleaner and I will uh, save that so let me come back here just to make sure that we haven't broken anything so I'll do that and I click on change cover and I still have that okay so good let me refresh that page again mm -hmm. we're making headway now the second thing is we had uh, specified an action here so the action is the page to which uh, the page that is going to to be accessed where the form is going to submit sorry so what we want to do is to because we want to submit to the this very page right here so what I will do is delete all this action part that way I make sure that it refreshes to the same page okay so good to go there and so now let me go up 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 here and right here there's uh, this include change image which we muted for a second now remember that if it's not this is not set this first name inside a post here uh, this was a, a poor choice of uh, if statement on my part but it did the job on the profile page but this is the group page so usually this is for changing settings yes on the profile but we might need it we just need to change that to suit the current situation we'll need it when we are changing settings on the group so we'll leave it there but then what's happening is that because every time I post this is not set what's happening is it's going over here and then when it gets to this it just refreshes to the group data there but that's uh, just after creating an actual post here okay so we do not want to create a post here because um, yeah that's not what we want to actually do so what I will do here is change a few things now the, the thing is the reason why the posts are showing up on my profile is because this is the ID that I'm supplying I'm supplying the ID of the one that is logged in but this is a group and so we are supposed to supply the ID of the group okay so before we get to this part let me um, actually let's start with this right here so create post uh, with that ID and then we create the post so let's go to change image and see what we can edit over there so change image is right here which is right there over there okay so how exactly do we do this here here we do upload the uh, yeah we upload the image and then we create a post and then once we do that we actually uh, redirect ourselves to somewhere else mm -hmm. I see here okay let me come down here this was weird because I don't know when these are supposed to actually show because if they do show uh, it means it comes down here it doesn't find find this so it comes here and creates another post and then shows 
some more errors over here yeah this was uh this was weird anyway so let's fix the uh all this here so the first thing we want to do is um uh of course of course before we deal with the change image right here we just want to be able to refresh the page and come back to where we are so let me mute the create post for a second here because i don't want to be creating any more posts unnecessarily so i will refresh my page and click change cover browse for an image and then i'll hit change and the fact that I've been returned to exactly the same page is a step forward. So this is good. It means we are keeping it in the family. So now what we need to do is remember that by the time we get to this point, we have group data, which is set, which contains the data for this particular group. So we can utilize that information. So what I will do is I will copy this okay the only thing is that i need to be sure that i actually uh, own this group before i can do any of this in there so we will be checking for that but however once we get here the id is uh, correct here but we have create post here so let's see uh, what we need to do here for a second okay eh? so let's go to classes and let's look for this same uh, post class and then create post so we want to modify that a little bit to accommodate uh, a post a group post so let's go to post yes 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 where are you there we go and then create post is right there so this is the user ID mm -hmm. okay so that is our user ID the one that uh, will end up where exactly so let's come down here data post and then user id ends up here okay post id okay so this is a uh, pretty good now let's do some modifications so i will go to my localhost php my admin uh, to check out the database just to confirm uh, what we are about to do here so my database is taking forever so let's go to posts yes so we are at the post table now we added a few um, or oh, did we yes we did add owner okay so owner there was added so owner is for determining uh, which so we have post ID, we have, uh, where is user ID? Even last time I had issues finding it. Okay, so it's right there. So we have the user ID of the person that actually uh, created this post, but then we need owner for owning uh, in the groups, yes. So what I will do here is just accommodate owner as part of this function here. So I will go to the very top here. So you can put this anywhere, but um, optional values are better at the end. So I'll say owner is equal to zero. Now, the reason I'm equating it to zero is because this is our default value for owner column here. So that uh, whether if there's no owner, then we just get that zero. And then we will go to just down, down here. Uh, where are we tags yeah, yeah 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 okay so we can put this right next to user id doesn't really matter i'm just going to say owner and then at the very end here i will do the needful i will duplicate that and change the first one to owner owner like that Okay, so this is actually good. But the thing is, uh, as much as we have told it who the owner is, uh, oh, actually, yeah, this is, this is the, the advantage here. Because 
even if we add uh, pages, let's say we add pages and also pages will be having posts in this same uh, table. The thing is, because pages and groups are in the same table, they are not going to have the same uh, ID. So if we come back to users here for, for a second. So there's a user ID and uh, so this user ID is created when you create, for example, even a group has a user ID, but this is the ID for the actual group and the owner is this one, okay? So it means since these are in the same folder here, these will be unique because when signing up, you can do all that checking to make sure that they are unique. So we make sure that these numbers are unique. So as a result, whether this is a group or it is a page, uh, we would know that just by uh, getting, let's say for example, what would, what, what, would be, what would be a problem if we had a different table for users and a different table for uh, groups is that, or for, let's imagine we add pages in future. So we may have a page that has exactly the same owner ID or the user ID or, or, or the page ID and the group which has exactly the same group ID. Now, because they can have that because they're in different tables. And then when it comes to posts, the problem would be if we had exactly two items that had the same. So let's say, let's imagine for a second, a page has an ID of one and another group in its own table has an ID of one. And then we have exactly the same post table here for posts. And then we have this owner column. So we'll have two posts which have the owner of one, but one belongs to a page and the other one belongs to a group. But this would cause problems when reading the data because that post will end up on the page as well as on the group. So to solve that problem, you'd have to create another post table for your pages, another post table for your groups. Now that creates a bit of a problem because you have so many tables for posts alone for each group and each page and so on. This is why I decided to use the same table because posts are similar. Whether they're on a page, they're on a group, they look exactly the same. So they can live on the same table. And then also putting users, groups and pages in the same table saves code because we make sure that no uh, group user and page will ever have the same ID. That way we can know exactly which of those created a particular post in here. Okay, I'm rambling now. So let me, let me just continue with the, what we were doing.